Hello guys and very welcome to this video. Here I have a battery module from Volkswagen and you will find this battery module in uh, Volkswagen ID3, ID4, ID5, ID7 and also ID bus. Pretty much every vehicle from Volkswagen out there. And I am of course talking about the electric versions. So the plan here is just to measure the pinouts on this battery module so you can hook it up to your own BMS there. So I have actually posted one video earlier on a battery module like this, but that was a 12S version. So a lot of you guys asked me there if I could do the same with this 8S version. So this will be perfect for a 24 volt system and especially if you have Victron inverters because those inverters are having a huge voltage span. So you can actually set the voltage in those inverters between 19 volts all the way up to 33 volts. And what that means is that you actually can use all the capacity out of this 8S battery module. I don't know about the other inverters out there. I just know about Victron because I have used them by myself. And I have been very satisfied with them also. So the plan here is just to measure all those pins up and uh, then you can actually connect this battery module to your own BMS there and you will have a pretty nice and not too big system there, but really easy to build. So the only thing that you need to do is to connect your BMS. You don't need to create any bus bars or anything like that. Only this small connector, you will have the part number of me down in the description. So you can order that if you find this battery module. So, uh, God, I am talking. So let's do this measuring. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's go on here. So the first thing that I would like to do now is to measure the module voltage. And you can see that we have a little over 28 volts uh, in the whole battery module here. So uh, what I need to do now is to divide that voltage by eight and then you will find that you will have a cell voltage at around 3.5 volts. So uh, now you just need to find the main negative pin in this balance connector. And uh, I happen to know that that's pin number nine here. And 28.2 volts is on pin number nine because I have now set the negative pin on the positive side of the battery module. That's important to find the most negative pin first before you start to do anything else here. So I will now attach the negative measuring pin to the main negative of the battery module again. And then we will have zero volts on pin number nine in this balance port connector. So let's move on to the pin number 10. And then you can see that we now actually have 3.5 volts on this one. So this is cell number one on pin number 10. So let's move on to pin 11. That's cell number two. And pin number 12 will give you the cell number three. And pin number 13 is cell number four. And pin number 14 is also cell number four. And the same with pin number 15 and 16 and 17. But pin number 18 will give you the cell voltage on cell number 5. And pin number 19 is cell number 6. And pin number 20 is cell number 7. And pin 21 is cell number 8. And also pin 22, that is also cell number 8. And then we also have two temp sensors in this module and uh, I thought that why not just measure that too. You have to check so they are in the correct range there of course. 
So let's switch to ohms here. Let's connect the probe here between pin number one and three. And there you can see that we have uh, 23 kilo ohms at the moment. And the other temp sensor is between pin number four and pin number two. And we have around the same kilo ohms there, 23.3 kilo ohms. And the temp sensors, they are located in each and every end here. So you will have one around here and the other one in this end here. I know that because I have opened one of those batteries up. And you have to be very careful when you are measuring those pins up here, if you do that. Because all of those pins are actually having a small fuse on it. So that little fuse are rated to 750 milliamps. If you go over that, you will obviously burn that fuse out. And then after that, this battery module are just trash. Because you cannot read that individual cell voltage. So I will try to see here if I... Here I have... Um, well, here is those fuses that I am talking about from another module that I did open up. And you can see that one has been a little hot there. So uh, those fuses are inside of this battery module. So you have to be careful when you are measuring those modules. So there we have it, all the pins and all the cells are measured and uh, now you know where and how to connect your BMS to this battery module. You will find the part number for this connector in the description if you need to buy that separately. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Please subscribe if you would like to see more of it and help me to share this video out if you think that other people need to see this. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. See you later.